Suppose somebody did a good deed completely and totally for the sake of Allah. Suppose you built a masjid. Suppose somebody memorized the Qur'an. Suppose somebody, mashallah, did something great, whatever it was. And his intention was sincere throughout. And he finished the good deed. And now somebody comes and says, mashallah, brother, you built that masjid. Mashallah, that was great. Or somebody finished memorizing the Qur'an. Mashallah, you became hafid. Mashallah, it was really great. You cannot help but feel a sense of happiness, a sense of joy. Somebody asked the Prophet ﷺ about this. He said, O Messenger of Allah, sometimes I do something good and then the people praise me. Meaning I didn't do it for them. I didn't do it for them. I did it for the sake of Allah. But then the people praise me. The Prophet ﷺ said, these praises in Arabic, tilka ajilatu bushra al-mu'min, these are the, if you like, preliminary blessings that Allah is giving the believer and there's going to be more awaiting him in the next life. These are the heralds of the blessings. These are the callers of more blessings. The fact that society likes you once you've done a sincere deed is not insincerity. You didn't do it for their sake. The fact that you gain respect when you do something for the sake of Islam, if you didn't do it for that respect, this is a blessing Allah is giving you. Don't feel guilty about that. Now everybody knows his or her own intention. You know your intention. Did you do it for, so that the people praise you? Well then you had better correct your intention. If you did it for the sake of Allah and then the people praise you, thank Allah. Because that's overlooked and forgiven and it is a sign that there's more blessings later on. One of the blessings that Allah gives to any sincere action is that He causes the people to love that action. And He causes that action to be accepted by the people. In other words, sincerity opens up the sincerity of other people. Sincerity in one heart is like a key that unlocks the sincerity in other hearts. So when a person does something sincerely, people appreciate that from him. Whereas when another person does maybe even more than that insincerely, people don't appreciate that from him. So the fact that people appreciate what you're doing, not a problem as long as you're doing it for the sake of Allah and you're not doing it for the people. Also realize that getting some worldly benefits for a religious deed is not the same as getting praise for a religious deed. And in Allah's mercy, Allah has allowed the former and not the latter. In other words, let me give you an example. A worldly benefit is like money. Okay? Whereas praise is a person saying something about you. If you did something religious for the sake of Allah and for some money, this is overlooked and accepted. Let me give you an example. The imam of the masjid, he needs to get a salary. And the ummah needs to provide him a salary. The school teachers, the Sunday school teachers and the full-time Islamic school teachers. The Imam, the Mulvi Sahib that comes teaches the Qur'an to the children. Now, of course, he's dedicated his life to teaching and preaching. He's dedicated his life for the cause of Islam. Surely he deserves remuneration, he deserves money. Now, if the person has the dual intention, look, I need to pay my bills, I need to take care of my wife and kids, and I also am happy that I'm a Qur'an teacher. I'm also happy I'm teaching the kids Islam. This dual intention has nothing to do with shirk. It is 100% halal. And this is the mercy of Allah that He allowed this dual intention when it comes to our dunya. Because He knows that we need a dual intention in this case. And the Quran is very clear about this. People wanted to come for hajj. And they're coming from all the corners of the globe. So they're wondering, this is a prime time for a marketplace, an international bazaar. People are coming from China, from Tunisia, from Timbuktu, from Indonesia. They're all coming. And they're all together. What a beautiful time to have a bazaar. And by the way, Hajj has always been a bazaar as well. There are places in Mina to this day, in the plains of Mina, there are places where people from all corners of earth are selling their stuff over there. So the question came amongst the companions, am I allowed to go for Hajj? and also take my business with me. I'm selling leather, I'm selling grain, I'm selling whatever I'm selling. Can I go for a hajj and also take my business? And there's no question that when you go as a businessman, you're also going and you want to gain some profit. And you're also going for hajj. Allah revealed in the Quran a verse, لَيْسَ عَلَيْكُمْ جُنَاحٌ 
أن تبتغوا فضلا من ربكم. There is no sin on you for wanting some blessings from Allah, i.e. money through your business from the Hajj. There is no sin on you from wanting the blessings of Allah. Similarly, in our times, nobody would organize a Hajj caravan unless he made his profit off of that caravan. Isn't that true? There's a lot of effort involved in organizing a Hajj travel tours. Believe me, I've been involved in enough Hajj to know that it's such a headache, I don't ever plan to get involved with organizing a Hajj trip. That's how much of a headache it is. You spend eight months just for those one week in Mecca and Medina. So people have to dedicate their whole lives to organizing Hajj groups. Surely they expect a profit. Is there a problem? No, there's not. Allah has allowed a dual intention for the dunya and for His sake. However, there's a caveat, there's a disclaimer. Your reward in this case will be proportional to the percentage of your sincerity to Allah. In this case, your reward will be proportional to how sincere you were to Allah. So suppose there was 50-50, you want your business and you're happy you're going for hajj. Well, your reward was not going to be like the one who went purely for the hajj. But your hajj is still accepted. And the same applies for the Quran teacher, for the Islamic studies teacher, for anybody. That if they have a pure intention for Allah and the money is a side thing for them, then they get 100% reward. And the less their intention goes, then the less their reward. But having a dual intention does not destroy the good deed. Unlike the one who intends Allah and the praise of the people. This, there is no excuse.